Hey, and welcome to today's video. I'm actually going to be taking you on a tour of my day. It's going to be a, a vlog style video. I don't normally do these because I figure like who would possibly care what my day is like. I feel like it'll probably pre be pretty boring, but um, here it is. We're going to do a vlog. So um, I'm sitting down right now, the rare moments of peace as my child eats an apple beside me. Um, I've learned that I hate making vlogs uh, because I record random videos and then I forget about it. It's especially difficult to vlog when I'm getting fire breathed all over me. Um, but yeah, I have all of these random disconnected videos. I'll start a day and I'll record a few videos and then I'll totally forget and then the whole day goes by and then I'll do it again. So I've started vlogs three or four times just to give you guys like just to do a day in the life. Um, and. Uh, I wasn't going to post any of it because I got so frustrated. I just don't think about my phone and I don't think about making videos of my day. I'm not in the habit of, of documenting things. Uh, and I find it rather arbitrary. Who cares what my day is like? But at the same time, I do like watching vlogs. So I'm going to post this really incoherent stitch together. Um, what do we call it? Like a, not a, what is it called when you have all like a collage. We'll call this a collage of my life um, because that's probably a more accurate representation of it than any one particular day. The only thing that you're not going to get a documentation of is the evening. Mommy? Yep. What is your... What is log? You're watching log. Oh, a vlog? <laughs> that's like when you do a video about your day. I think it's the first day of fall, so yay, happy fall, everyone. Um, I was gonna say something. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit of coffee and I'm gonna hash out what the um, today's piano TV video is gonna be. So that's my main priority. I also have to, um, I don't have to, I want to plan my next personal video, like my daily musings video. So um, that's the one that I'm gonna be publishing on Wednesday. And uh, not sure how long it's gonna take. I already have a pretty strong idea of what I want to talk about on Wednesday for my for daily musings, um, but I have no idea what video I'm gonna do for Piano TV. So I have to give myself a cap. Like I'm not gonna spend more than ten minutes coming up with the uh, the idea. And I do have reference pools and lists and things of uh, of things that I can talk about. But it has to be relevant to the beginner course because that's the course that's open this week that I've been working on the launch with. So. Um, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna shake off some of this grogginess. It's been a while since I've done anything remotely resembling a Q&A. So, um, it took me about two minutes to decide that was the direction to go in today. So that's, I'm just gonna roll with it. It is 7.10 and I've managed to draft out the whole piano TV video. So feeling good about that. I have about another half an hour or so to plan daily musings and get some work done on that. Back and it's daylight. My eyes are open. The light is out. I am feeling chipper. Um, yeah, I got a lot done. One thing that always blows my mind about these early morning sessions, even though I was basically only in there for a little under a lot, an hour and a half, I got a ton of stuff done because I was really just focusing on one thing. I wasn't multitasking, switching between tasks. I had two aims. Aim number one was to, um, yeah, uh, get through the piano TV video and plan that out. And aim number two was to plan a daily musings video, which involved um, just a little bit of uh, rereading certain things and, and stuff to plan it. So uh, highly focused and um, yeah, I feel like if I were to try to do that in scattered bits and bobs, it would be twice as long. So I'm um, feeling good. What do you got here? I'm gonna start the day with some coffee. All right, we are fancied up. So it's, uh, yeah, time to get everything set up for filming, which means basically setting up my living room. will show you where I usually do this. So, um, this is my, this is my living room and where's my, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. There's the bookshelf that is in the back of my videos at all times. So I basically just hunker down on the floor right there and ooh, which way do I go? Set up the camera right there and go to town. 
I've just been filming this morning, so I've been filming my piano TV video in my living room, so the backdrop of what you see is basically over here, and then I have my fairly broken light. I've got my um, camera set up, I have a mic that runs through my computer, <laughs> and the stuff that you don't see, my child's bear, the blanket, all that stuff in the background. I'm trying to video edit, and now that I've basically edited the entire video of the election that I'm planning on publishing, I am a little disturbed. I think this is actually the longest video I've ever made. Three, four, sorry, 34. I love those moments when I'm editing. Nice face, by the way. And I noticed that the entire time I was filming, I had a fuzz in my hair. I saw it in the mirror <laughs> after I was done filming. It was like, of course, of course, I'm immortalizing this fuzz. The fuzz shall live on. Just got my piano TV video finished editing, so just gonna have to sit and wait while it hogs all my computer data and space to encode. Then I'll finish all the final steps with uploading it and getting it published and everything. Hopefully I can get that done within the next hour before my kid is done preschool. Then I can start doing lunch prep and all that good stuff. My sock and jean combination is just precious. It's cooking time. Gonna make some miso soup, gonna make uh, some tofu salad sandwiches, way more delicious than perhaps they sound. So let's do that up. All right, the video is almost fully uploaded. I've got my blog post up and uh, got my, my fun little screenshot and uh, this little reminder that my course is open that pops up there. So yeah, there's uh, this is everything that I was writing in the morning and this is essentially what became my video template to keep me organized and my thoughts cohesive. I have these pockets of time when I'm uploading my videos and I don't have, uh, I can't use my computer at all just because it hogs all the RAM essentially. So um, I try to find those moments to force myself to take breaks and stand up and do things. So right now I'm going to start a load of laundry and get that going because my kid has like a special, I don't know, she needs like pants basically. She's, I think she's on like her last pair of pants. So I uh, gotta, gotta be practical. So I got my uh, laundry bin on the go and yeah, I'm gonna try to intermittently fit in some chores throughout the day started. It is really adorable in here. I'll show you a couple things that she left out. Right in front of the door. She's got her cat sleeping <laughs> on a pillow. I see some abandoned socks, so we gotta get this in the laundry. Oh, she's got um, some of her food stuff put uh, in a chef's hat. So I have some really unreasonable amounts of things sitting in here. Um, t lots of tomatoes from the garden, giant bag of apples, a whole bunch of zucchini that are really huge and I'll have to shred them up and use them for baking. Um, I have a bunch of jalapenos that I got to pickle. So the faster I do this, the better, right? Before everything disintegrates. I'm pretty sure I have like beet leaves and stuff in there. Um, way too much food to use, but I want to try to preserve it. Um, and I've been basically just doing this with my uh, extra zucchini that I can't get through at any given time, is shredding it into two cup portions, laying them flat. Um, I shredded a whole bunch of my garden green beans as well, and by shredded I mean cut and <laughs> processed. So um, I'm gonna head to that and do that right now while I maybe listen to an audiobook or just kind of space out a bit. It's had a nice quiet 15 minutes or so coming back to reality. I was just reading. Um, the Economist, um, a substitute for pointless social media scrolling because it satisfies a lot of the same urges, the urge for novelty. So a lot of these articles take me five to 10 minutes to read. So it's not, um, yeah, it's just a nice little thing that I like to sprinkle in throughout the day. I just finished an article about conspiracy theories and how they spread and how they can be combated and how conspiracy theories have basically existed since the Roman Empire, um, pretty much since the beginning of time. So I think really the only cure to conspiracy theories is transparency in government because if you think of why conspiracy theories start, it's because people don't trust the government. So, um, yep, that's what I was thinking about. I think we're going to have a snack and then we're going to enjoy this beautiful first day of fall weather. I think it's like 26 degrees out today, so we're going to go for a walk by the lake, and I'll catch up with uh, my cousin, and we'll have uh, hopefully like a, a nice hunky-dory outdoor fresh air type afternoon. Finishing a snack of shreddies and cinnamon toast crunch at the same time. And um, yeah, then we're going to be off to the polls. So I voted.
but I wasn't allowed to film any of the process because uh, they don't recommend doing that. You can get into trouble. So, but it's done. And now I'm gonna go hang out with my parents and hang out with my garden. And I don't know, maybe eat some good food. I'm gonna eat good food at grandma and grandpa's house and turn on the election news and see what's happening. Gotta wait. Hey Jane, who's excited for election night? Yay! That was like a me and a yay all at once. Hey, do that again, I saw your arm. Yay! Ah, I see your hand sticking up from the back. <laughs> party, in, party in this car. See sunlight coming in here. Just for fun, I harvested a whole bunch of my squash because there was uh, freezing weather, so I kind of had to get them out of the ground. And um, they're beautiful. Look at these guys, they're so cute. They're so cute. And I got this giant um, blue Hubbard and, you know, tomatoes and all that other fun stuff. It was hard to grab. So this is the end of my vlog. Um, I'm just kind of putting an awkward bookend because otherwise it would have just ended very abruptly. So this is the slightly less abrupt ending. Don't expect another vlog anytime soon because of how, uh, <laughs> how painstaking this was for me to put together. Are we going to read the short season prairie yard book? I love this guy, by the way. Final comment, Lyndon Penner. He writes books based out of Alberta. So, um... Who's this guy? That's a flower. That's not a guy. That's just a really close-up blue flower. Where's the dog? But his books have a great sense of humor, so um, we're gonna... This guy. This is Lyndon Penner. Shout out. Big fan. I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>